Hi Dan here, Scooter in Magazine. Uh, just another quick video to uh, let you know what I've been using as a budget um, moto vlogging setup. Um, I first tried, I wanted to do this as cheaply as possible. I have some scooters to test ride. And I um, tried just getting a mobile phone holder, strapping that to the handlebars and going off and doing some test rides. Whilst this works great for what it's supposed to do, um, utilising your mobile phone for sat-nav, uh, GPS and all that sort of stuff, the images that it captures when you're on the move are not great at all. So I didn't want to go busting the budget, so I invested the princely sum of £30 on this little Dragon Touch uh, 4K camera. And I found this on Amazon, brand new, 30 quid. I thought, really, 30 quid? I've used Senna 10C Pros and other sort of, sort of quite nice high-end stuff. This is one-tenth of the cost of something like the current uh, uh, GoPro Hero 7 or 8, um, which are 300 plus pounds. Now, don't get me wrong, they are a fabulous piece of kit. You get what you pay for, they're great quality. This is less than one tenth of the cost. So if you're wanting to do a budget moto vlog setup, the Dragon Touch is, is a really good option. So I ordered the, uh, the kit, um, came in this um, box. I'll give you a still shot of the, um, the extras that it came with, but I was quite pleasantly surprised when I unpackaged it, it came with um, waterproof case should that be the type of shot you're wanting to do um, and an abundance they're here on the bench but i'll show you still sort of those in a minute an abundance of uh clips and fasteners and straps and all manner of stuff now because i'm wanting to use this on a motorcycle or scooter setup um then i wanted something a bit more substantial there is some bits and pieces in the kit which you can use to fasten it to a helmet but when i got that clipped on and waggled it and it, i didn't feel it get enough adjustment for the correct angles i wanted to shoot from and i wasn't convinced that at 70 miles an hour the wind buffeting wouldn't just tear the thing off and send it flying down the road so i only spent another 11 pounds but i got this separate chin mount here which is an 11 pounds item again off amazon um and i'm using some mobile phone uh earphones with the little speaker built into the clip just stuff those up inside the helmet and it doesn't seem to be a problem with wind noise um it picks up the engine note of the machine the scooter really really well so those two things alone make the audio quite a bonus. Um, on this current microphone, I must say, my commentary is lacking. It, it sounds very much um, muffled and muted compared to what you would, you know, expect or want. But perhaps if you've heard my audio commentaries, <laughs> that's no bad thing. But I'm sure I could play around with the mic settings and just get my audio a little bit clearer. Um, and in terms of the quality of this little camera, what it gives out, um, I was reasonably impressed. Thirty pounds. I'm not expecting the level of GoPros and and Senna's and you know stuff like that. It's thirty quid's worth of camera. You get what you pay for. But I, I actually think you get more than what you pay for. Um, if I can just get this up to the screen here, and we'll see if we can just take you through the menu. Um, at the front here, you have the uh, the on-off switch. At the top here is the shutter button, and at the side is a couple of toggle switches. So you literally have four buttons then on the other side you've got a couple of charging jacks a 2.5 mil audio um, socket and then a little slot for your SD card um, so it's a simple button on the front press that and the thing will um, power up comes up straight away just goes straight on and at this point now you can press the shutter button and it will start recording OK, or you can now use the um, on off button again on the front and it will toggle through the various um, menus for you to select resolution settings, for you to um, decide if you want to do stills, do you want to do video, all the settings that you want for the audio and the camera, they're all in there. And then when you've had enough, you just press the dot button, come back out and you're ready to roll. It also comes with um, a rather nice 
remote control, which I wasn't expecting this um, for a 30 quid camera. Um, this can be worn obviously as a watch top if you want to access it there or on the handlebars of your machine. I found that with the fact that it was just four simple buttons, well, two of which you don't use whilst you're out, one on the front to get it on, one on the front to get it going. I didn't need this, but if, if you want it, it's there. If you're setting the camera up further away from you for something other than what I'm using it for, moto vlogging, then this, this um, remote control, it, the red button will activate um, a still shot from the camera and the grey button will activate the on off for the recording of the uh, of the video. Um, in terms of the battery you get two batteries with this which again I wasn't expecting for 30 quid. Um, it's, it's, it's a good little camera. It's not a great camera but it is a good little camera. Um, I've been out, I've had a quick spin on my scooter with the a mobile phone, headphones plugged in, the chin strap set up here, the uh, drag and touch mount put onto the chin mount, that separate chin, chin mount that I bought, and, been out for, and I will now show you um, a clip of that and you can see what you think. There's various settings on it and the setting that I used on this is the, um, the highest setting that it, you can for the resolution, which is the 4K um, 30 frames per second with the electronic image stabilization. It gives you a 4K 30 frames per second setting without the EIS. You can go to 2.730 FPS, 1080p, but with 60 frames per second. I did a separate shot with the 60 frames per second on the 1080p. You don't get the image uh, stabilization on that. Um, but if you put it on the 4K settings, 30 frames per second, you get the uh, electronic image stabilization setup, which I think that the uh, the uh, the quality of this for blasting around back lanes on your given machine of choice, mine scooters, yours might be motorbikes, um, for 30 pounds, stuffing a pair of uh, mobile phone earphones into the uh, into the equation, um, two batteries, remote control, an abundance of fastening devices. I spent an extra, 11, an extra 11 pounds on the chin mount. Um, the only minor irritation that I have with this is that for some reason, I don't know why, they've got a 2.5mm um, audio jack in there. So for my setup, instead of being able to use the normal 3.5mm, I had to buy a 2.5mm uh, adapter. So 3.5 in from my earphones, 2.5 into the side of that and then it just clips straight in there. I've got my headphones just stuffed up inside there and then the, uh, the jack goes on and it slots in the side there. And then that's it. That's my uh, moto vlogging setup, 30 pound plus an 11 pound strap um, and it was three pounds for the, um, the adapter for the 2.5 audio jack. It now gives me a low budget economy moto vlogging setup. I can go out, there isn't much wind noise, the note of the engine is clear, the video footage is clear, um, perhaps I need to work on my microphone setup to make my audio clear, but I'm sure in the editing of any videos I do, I could add an overlay of um, audio during that time over if, I, if there was something particular that I wanted to say. But other than that, it's the, uh, it's the Dragon Touch camera, it's the 4K version, um, they call it the Ultra HD Sports. Um, it's got the remote control, the EIS, four times zoom, 170 degrees of angle. And you know what? For 30 pounds, it's not a bad bit of kit. I recommend it if you're on a budget and you want to do a bit of moto vlogging. If you want something serious, it's your profession, your career, you're a professional YouTuber. This isn't going to cut it. You are going to probably have to go up to something more expensive, um, whatever level that may be. Um, but for the budget guys out there, this is a brilliant bit of kit. I recommend it. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, and have fun.